A final from Sacramento where the road team wins for the first time in this series. The Warriors 123-116. And look, you may love Draymond Green. You may hate Draymond Green. But man, this was a fantastic game from Draymond Green. Second game coming off the bench. 21 points, 8 of 10, 7 assists, 4 rebounds, 4 steals, two of them coming in the final minutes that were absolutely clutch and were very, very critical in terms of the Warriors winning this game. Steph Curry goes for 31. The Splash Brothers combining here for 56 points in the win as they take a 3-2 series lead that look to close out the Kings back home on Friday in Game 6 in San Francisco. All right, back here with CBS Sports NBA insider Bill Ryder. And Bill, look, Draymond Green, you might love him, you might hate him, but man, he was awesome in this game. Yeah, Akeem, you said this dude is a stone-cold winner. There's a reason he led the Warriors in box score plus minus, in assists, in, I think, rebounds. When you go down the list, this guy, and we've known this for years, but if you talk to Steve Kerr, if you talk to Steph Curry, if you talk to folks in that Warriors organization, they say it with the earnestness of a religious zealot that they understand in a way maybe people that don't watch every day, every night, how important Draymond Green is to this team. Today it jumps off the box score. Some days it doesn't. You said it. What a performance from that guy and really that basketball team. So I'm, I'm curious what you think. Why is it different? What does it change for the Warriors with him coming off the bench? What's the difference? You know, honestly, I'm not sure because of the minutes that he's playing that it's that different because Steve Kerr is getting the rotations where he wants them. I think it's a signal to that basketball team that there's – I'm not sure accountability is the right word, but it's the word that I'm coming up with, Akeem, that there's a level of accountability for Draymond Green when he has made some mistakes. Obviously, there was an issue at the start of the season when he punched his teammate Jordan Poole in, in the face, and, and that was you know caught on, on camera eventually and released through, through the media. And I think coming off the bench is a way for Draymond Green to telegraph to his teammates and for Steve Kerr to telegraph to his players that Draymond Green is there for these guys. It's not about him. It's about the team. I don't think there's a huge difference right, in terms of how tactically things play out. I just think that's something they're doing right now, really for the first time in his career since this team began winning, so that they can say to every other guy, Dre will do whatever it takes to win these games. Well, Sacramento was trying to take a 3-2 series lead. They won the first two games at home. They come back home. They were trying to light the beam. Instead, it's, it's the Warriors who go lights out here at the, the final minutes of this game. Uh, is this series, for all intents and purposes, is this over? Like, is, I, I can't see a situation here where Golden State loses two in a row. I don't think it's over because I do think the Kings are a really good basketball team, and I think it speaks to the level and the ceiling of this Warrior squad that they're up 3-2. But it ain't looking good. You're, you're right, Akeem. It is, I mean, I don't think the Warriors are losing two in a row either, but, but I keep bringing this up. They did lose three in a row against the Cavs, as you know, in 2016. Crazy things can happen. I think for me, for, for the Kings to have a legitimate chance, for, for you and I to be having a conversation about a Game 7 in a few days and what that means, De'Aaron Fox is going to have to be able to shoot at a more efficient level and be the ridiculous level of taking over games he was before that, that injury with his finger. I can't imagine he's going to make excuses, but to me, he looked off. He was different. I think he was 9-25, and 25, somewhere in that range. He had his points, but it wasn't at the same level of just precision that we saw before the injury. So barring that, you know, barring De'Aaron Fox being able to really impose his will against this Warriors team the way he did before that injury, I I'm with you. What is a likelihood for the Warriors becomes almost a done deal. Yeah, you, you could see him grimacing in the fourth quarter uh, when he's dealing with that hand injury, the broken finger. And you're right, he was 9 of 25, 3 of 10 from beyond the arc for 24 points. He needs to have a much bigger game for them to win a series like this. And, and they'll try to even it up. They'll attempt to even it up on Friday night when they hit the road as they play at Golden State in San Francisco for Game 6. Bill Ryder breaking down for us here on CBS Sports HQ. Bill, thanks. Another look here at the box score. And, uh, look, the Warriors stuffed the stat sheet, but it was all about Draymond Green in this game coming off the bench. 21 points on 8 of 10, 7 assists, 4 rebounds, 4 steals, critical steals, pilfers, if you will, down the stretch to help 
the Warriors steal one on the road. The first uh, game in this series won by the road team. And now the Golden State Warriors one win away from moving on.